Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Now then, just a quick apology for my voice. I've still got a tail end of this COVID business, so you'll have to put up with my nasally musings, possibly for the next couple of weeks until it shifts. Uh, but anyway, uh, on with the video. Now then, we've got in today's video, uh, WPL have sent us these, and I don't know if you can see there, uh, they are proper little differentials to convert the solid axles in the kits. Uh, to a proper differential. Uh, so let's say that you weren't a particularly off-road orientated WPL fan, uh, you can bang these in uh, and these will be much better on pavement and tarmac etc. So that's basically what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to test this first. Uh, I'm going to, I'm interested to see what the turn radius is actually uh, with solid axles and then uh, we'll bring it back in, bang these in uh, check out the turn radius again and we'll see what it's like off-road as well while, while we're at it. Right then, so with the solid axles I reckon this thing will turn within a radius of approximately 61 inches. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll take it back inside and we'll fit those little diffs and bring it back outside and see if it can't turn in a tighter circle. Right then back inside with the C44, I'm going to bang these little diffs in. It should be a fairly straightforward operation, just got to remove the axles from the truck, uh, put these uh, little diffs in, I think there's some shims and whatnot, might have to shim them up, uh, but I think that's probably as difficult as it's going to get. Anyway, let's crack on. Once you've got the axle apart, the new diff just drops straight in. All you've got to remember is there's a little brass bush here uh, that you put on this side of the diff, otherwise you can't get the thing in. Uh, so anyway, uh, what I'll do is reassemble, make sure we've got the correct mesh and uh, then start on the front. Also forgot to mention you've got to swap this little gear over as well, but they come in the kit. It's only because the standard solid axles, uh, the mesh is completely different. So that's the front one done and the axle reinstalled on the truck and as you can see, uh, we've got a differential there. So let's take it outside and let's go and try it. And that is a massive difference. Right then, that's quite an obvious difference. We've actually gone from a turning radius of 61 inches to 44. So that, that is quite a considerable uh, difference, to be honest. And um, what we'll do, I'll just quickly, while we're outside, just see what just see what the off-road capability is like. So then there you have it, WPL's genuine axle differential kit uh, gives you a much tighter turning circle, uh, no doubt about that. Uh, it's probably a lot less stress on your transmission, especially on tarmac and hard surfaces, and you still retain a reasonable off-road capability with it. So if you're the sort of person that doesn't really use your trucks off-road, uh, this kit is probably right up your street. Took about 30 minutes to install, wasn't really a big deal. Uh, it costs you about 21 quid, which is approximately $24. Uh, a big thank you to WPL for supplying the kit to the channel for review. I will leave some affiliate links in the description below. And as ever on the channel, if you found this video of some use and interest, uh, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're feeling that way inclined, hit that subscribe button for more similar future content. Once again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you again very, very soon.